Well, good morning, everybody. Well, we are back from our fantastic trip that we were just on. If you haven't seen those videos yet, go check those out. So we're back, so that means that I have to continue working on some trailers. Before we took off, I was working on one of my mom's friend's old vintage Kingcraft trailer. Uh, resealing the roof, putting a new air conditioning on, and all kinds of little miscellaneous things for her. So now that we're back, I'm gonna go pick that trailer up that I have down on my lower property, bring it up top here by the garage, and get started on it. Let's go down and pick it up. Got the trailer brought back up from down by my uh, shed down below um, before I went on this last trip I started working on it I went up on the roof and started tearing apart some of the stuff some of the shed some leaky vents um, and just pulling off some of the old lap seal because I'm gonna end up ripping all that stuff off new lap seals pull up whatever needs to be pulled up resealed and whatnot but then go ahead and put a layer of fiberglass stuff some um, Dicor special stuff that's for fiberglass to seal the whole roof One of the things you want to do before you put back down any vent or anything is just clean up the area really good so the butyl tape or whatever it is you're using to seal it down to the roof actually sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and use some, some soapy water, scrub it up really good, and uh, get it ready to put the vent back on. All right, after you get it all nice and clean, you can go ahead and prep the uh, vent, get the butyl tape on, or get ready whatever you're going to use to put on it, and you would be good to go. All right, just finished up getting that thing all screwed back down. I'm going to go ahead and wait to lap seal it though until I get the rest of the roof cleaned up and all wiped down, all that good stuff, ready to go. I still got to put the other refrigerator cover back on uh, with the butyl tape, lap seal. Gonna She installed a fantastic fan. I'm going to clean that up a little bit, lap seal that. And then once everything's done, then I can go ahead and uh, put the coating on. So I just got done scrubbing the top up there with the brush. Um, I was trying to figure out different ways to wipe it off, clean it off, whatever, but I'm right in front of my garage, so I can't hose it off here. So I think what I'm gonna just do is hook onto my truck, kind of back it on one of my hills I got here and use the hose and uh, wash it all off. I just gotta be careful because there's still a hole up there where the air conditioner is going. So I'm gonna figure out something so water doesn't go in there, but that's the plan. I'll be coming home. All right, well that was all kinds of fun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the welder out while that's drying back there and then bring it back over here and start welding on it and have some more fun. The step here you can see it's been cracked back here on the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the jack, jack it up. I'll clean up there in the corners, re-weld it, and add a new piece of angle iron or something in here to strengthen that bad boy up. Alright, got all the welding done. A little rusty, haven't welded for a while. Well, I did weld that bike rack, but I don't weld in there as much as I used to. Put a little brace on there. That's all good. And welded a little bike rack hitch on the back here for her as well. All good to go. As you can see, I've already started using this stuff. This is what I'm using. It's the Dicor fiberglass roof coating. They make different coatings for the rubber roofs, metal roofs, all that kind of stuff. So you just want to make sure you get the right um, stuff for the type of roof that you have. Now I'm going to finish jumping up there and keep going. This roof has these ridges on it. So I have to go like this side to side in between the ridges to get it all really good. Well, I am back at it. I am out here getting ready to install the air conditioning today on the 67 uh, Kingcraft. So anyways, I got the roof all sealed, all the new vents and everything all done, lap seal done, all that good stuff. So today is the AC. 
It's never had an AC in there, so I got to run a little bit of wiring and some stuff like that. But uh, anyways, should be a fun day. Going to get a lot of stuff done today. Um, because next week, I'm actually going to drive this halfway to where she lives, meet her, drop it off. And then I have another one of my mom's friends that has a trailer. She's coming back from a trip. And so we're all kind of meeting up. I'm taking this one, dropping it off. And I'm going to pick hers up while I'm there and bring it back to work on it. And then next week, me and the kids are all heading over to Reno to go pick up another one. So, man, we're just busy having all kinds of fun getting ready for our next trip, um, which is right around the corner. So I'm going to get this stuff, these little projects wrapped up, and then hopefully end of next week, um, we'll be going on our next trip. So so this had just a regular roof vent in here. Uh, I removed it from the top, so I got to pop these guys off here, pull this down, take a look at the wood and see what's going on. One of the things I'm going to do instead of running a cord that comes out and plugs into here is I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole through here run some wiring and then I'll tap into the outlet in here. That way it's a little cleaner. So as you can see, it's not bad in here. It's good, but there is these little cracks and stuff. Um, so what we want to do is we want to seal those off. You could silicone them if you wanted to or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and use some ducting tape. Just run some ducting tape, tape along there seal those holes and those cracks and stuff. That way, when the air conditioner is in there, um, it's not uh, air is not escaping anywhere. You want it to all come down in here in the trailer. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this all ready to do that. And then the fun part, getting it up on the roof. Well, there we go. Went ahead and got it all sealed up all the way around uh, where it lips into the inside and up on top here. Now there's just no way any air is going to escape in through here um, when the air conditioning goes on. So you don't have to do this, but this is just something that definitely recommend that it doesn't cost a lot of money. and didn't take a lot of time to go ahead and do this. So definitely recommend doing that. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole from here and through into this box and then tap into those wires. I could have drilled the hole first before I did this, but I decided to put the tape on, I'll drill it, and then because once the cords go through and everything, I'll go ahead and reseal around that as well. So again, just trying to maximize the flow coming in and don't let any air escape. All right, now that the hole's all ready, now comes the hardest part. And that's going to be putting in the air conditioner. So I wrapped a strap around it so I can hold it as I go up the ladder. So I'm all by myself today. I don't have any extra help. So this will show you um, one way you can possibly do it yourself. So <laughs> let's give it a shot and see what happens. As you can see, I got the AC up there on the roof. Um, now I realize most people aren't going to be able to do it by themselves, one hand climbing up the ladder. I'm a big guy. Most people are going to need two people at least. Um, or if you're by yourself, another thing you might try is being up on top of the roof with a rope around it, kind of like I had. But if you're up there, then you could just kind of slide it up the ladder to get it on the roof. It's another idea. Um, Definitely probably best if you have uh, two people though. But got it up there, wasn't too bad. That's really all I had to do on the roof. Um, so now we're gonna go back inside and get it all hooked up and attached. All right, so after it's up in there, you just wanna go ahead and you can move it a little bit here side to side just to try and get it all lined up. So the seals even all the way around where it's supposed to be. Um, and then one of the next steps you're gonna do is they come with these duct dividers here. And I had to trim a little bit off but what you do is this guy is just gonna, it fits up in here and it's got, it squishes, has a seal there. And then you want it to be pretty flush with the bottom. So when I press that up and hold the AC down, I'm right at the bottom and there's a seal inside the uh, cover over there that goes up here and pushes on this. We're gonna put this all up in here, get it situated, and then I'm gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up here as well, just to help extra seal. I got the cable run through, and uh, I'm just getting ready to go ahead and put this bad boy up. Go ahead and put our duct divider in. I was gonna try and tape it, but since how, how it's in here, I, I won't be able to tape it. So, I'll just get this bad boy up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up, wired up, hooked up, make sure it's running, functioning. But they only give us three of these screws in the packet. So I got to take one back out, go to the hardware store, try and get a bolt for it. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and try and get it all, just make verify that it's all hooked up, working right, all that good stuff. I'll pull one back out, go get a new one, come back, put them on, and re-put the cover back on. Kind of a pain in the butt, but what can I do? That's all I can do. Got the wire nuts on and all that stuff. One thing I like to do, you don't have to do, but I like to put electrical tape around those as well. You never know. And these things are like rolling earthquakes going down the road. So you can never do too much to uh, make sure things are okay. All right, well, got it all wired up there. Go ahead and put the cover on for that. I won't need to take that back off. Our divider's up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape around here just to seal that off all the way. Um, and then we should be good. All right, just went and hooked up power. Here is the moment of truth. Got it all sealed around the electrical cord here. Let's see, I'm looking at these knobs here. So this would be colder. Okay, there's high fan. Wow, that sucker really pumps out the air all right all right I got the AC all done and installed came out great working great all right so something kind of <laughs> So something kind of funny, sort of, but not really. Um, I got the AC all back together and I'm putting all my tools away. And I don't know if you can see, but in there on that bolt is uh, my socket. <laughs> it got stuck to it when, uh, when I pulled it off and didn't even realize it. And I put everything back together and uh, was trying to find my socket. Well, I found it. I'm going to see if I can get it out without having to take this thing back down. <laughs> Oh geez. So I went and got my little magnetic little wrench here. Oh, did I get it? No. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I did. <laughs> so a little tip before you finish up everything and finish mounting everything, make sure you don't have any tools stuck up there. Luckily it wasn't too hard to get out, so. <laughs> I thought it was actually kind of funny. So this trailer has all kinds of wires. Kind of everywhere. Battery's not hooked up. Trailer brakes aren't hooked up. Um, so I'm going to pull this box apart. See what's going on in there. And see if I can trace and rewire um, all this stuff. Alright, wish me luck. So amongst all this mess and confusion... I was able to trace the wires. I hooked it up to my truck to confirm. Found the brake wires, so I'm gonna go ahead and rewire, rehook into this junction box she's got, and uh, kind of go from there and trace the rest back and see where it leads us. 
All right, got the wiring all cleaned up. It was hanging down and all kinds of messes going on down there. All fixed and good to go. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and check out these clips of our next upcoming video and have a good one. We'll see you soon. Bridalville Falls. Pit stop. Check out this tr uh, car over here. The tree growing out of it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.